Hello everyone, this is your stream, Mr. Steven, and welcome to another episode of the Steam Factor. Um, ladies and gentlemen, another story time that I like to uh that I like to talk about is called the wallet. Now um for the first time ever I lost the wallet for several months. And to be honest with you, my life is going bonkers. I lost my library card. I lost my very first New York State ID. The red, white, and blue insurance, or should I say Medicare and Medicaid. Ugh, everything is completely messed up. And let me tell you where it all began. It happened on Friday, February of 2018 which is the beginning of the Super Bowl weekend. Um, and I don't remember it very well. My neighbors had decided to went back to Philadelphia to watch the Eagles versus the Patriots. Stuck in this house all day. No freedom whatsoever. And my cousin is trying to get on my nerves. It all starts as my cousin Jerry just playing my wallet. And to be honest with you, my wallet has become one of the most important thing in the world. Let me show you. This is my wallet. This is my very first wallet I had this a long time ago. You can see my Metro cards, uh, my documents, everything was in there. And this is my very first wallet, and I still had it since ever since. So, on February 2018, my cousin used his wallet, and I told him to give it back. And let me tell you something, this wall right here, it's not a toy. This is a reminder. This is a very responsibility. And it's been revealed that Jeremiah just throw it somewhere in this wallet. And I already know where it is. But I'm not going to tell you that. A little, a little later on. Um, first of all, 24 hours later, something tells me something's not right in this bedroom. And it's been revealed that my wallet is gone. Terribly. And I am so angry that when Jeremiah tried to do something silly like that, I was going bonkers. I trying to look at my closet, trying to get rid of all these nasty junks. Um, and uh, trying to uh, clean up my whole room, check out all these documents and everything. And, and, and I tried my best trying to clean my whole room and, and see my wall of stairs. Not in my closet, it's got to be my, under my bed. It's terrible. It was so terrible. And even it is completely messed up. So um, I definitely want to ease a little bit, but I not give up without a fight. Now during the next days, I decide to um, decide to go downtown a little bit, like Yuka Avenue. Decide to buy a new wallet, and um, also even a new Metro card, which is this. When I had it for a very, very long time. So, I bought a new wall with a chain. It was okay. Put some new cards in and everything. Uh, I also, I called um, the, the Medicaid company to go and renew my new Medicaid. That's number two. Uh... Number three, I went to the Social Security office to buy a new red, white, and blue card, which is a Medicare card. And number four, I'm going to um, the DMV place down by Atlantic Avenue for my non-driver's license. And to be honest with you, I've been working so hard to renew all these stuff, uh, new documents, so I have to worry about my old wallet. But I'm still thinking I'm missing my wallet, though, anyway, to be honest with you. 
Now let's fast forward somewhere between the mid fall. Now it was no school. And I think it was used to be on Columbus Day, I think. I think so. If I'm mistaken, I just really don't know whatsoever. So it was on school and um I just realized that um Jeremiah's trying to play something on my computer on the floor. And even also I was trying to look at something under my under my bed. So so um I decided trying to look and when I'm looking under my bed, there was something on top on the edge under my bed. And I just said to myself, I pull my flashlight and look, and I just find out that there is a wallet under my bed. And yes, and it's right here all along. For the past over like seven, uh, like for the past seven or eight months, I found my the original wallet, which is under my bed, is on the edge, and I just call out. I say thank God. I told my mom, and I said, "Mom, I finally found my wallet." And yes, my old stuff is the same, but I get rid of the old stuff, like the Medicare card. The, the Medicaid card and the old Medicaid card and put some new ones in there. And even my Democrat card as a member of the Democrat Party I, is still there as well. So thank God I finally found it. And you know what? I definitely need to keep safe with it. But to be honest with you, for now on, I should probably put my wallet inside my blue document bag and um and it's still there ever since I never gonna lose that wallet again. But keep that in mind that wallet is a very good responsibility. Um it, they will remind you it's good documents to show them even the New York State ID and everything. And I got the extra New York State ID in case I lost the other one. But it's okay with me. So make sure Make sure you have to put the wallet in a safe place. So if you have cousins or little brothers trying to play that wallet, but please, just put in in a safe place. That's all I can say. Todo by la familia, and coming up this coming up next time, one more story time, and we're gonna move on to the other subjects. And I promise you, I, I will definitely make more story times in the further episodes. So for now, see, todo para la familia.